Good morning, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, the Rational Contemplative. This is the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to M Meditative Musings. A dear-hearted student asked me how she could protect herself from metaphysical attack during dreams as one of her former teachers is trying to manipulate her and uh, punish her. Personally, I don't like that behavior. Just because someone has power doesn't mean we can use it any way we want. I like to think that it's best that we allow ourselves to be ruled by wisdom and love. Sadly, the original teachings attributed to Lao Tzu in the Tao Te Ching and Buddha in the Mahasatipatthana Sutta don't contain much about magic. In fact, they don't contain much about manifesting what we want when we want it. Well, that sucks. How am I supposed to get what I want when I want? And the answer is, sometimes you will, most often you won't. What Buddha and Latsu offer us is a way to be centered, spontaneous, and flowing, and wise, and mindful, and loving, regardless of what's going on. There are many pseudo-spiritual systems to help you get what you want when you want it. Neither Taoism or Buddhism should be numbered amongst them. Well, what do we do then when we become mindful and aware of our longing for something good, like safety, like protection? Well, that pulling energy could be called greed. It could also be called self-centered love. So what we can do is use that, that desire for protection as a stepping stone for communal love, and planetary and global love and even universal love. So let's practice the fabulous five right now. These are going to, everything I'm going to give you, you're going to recite silently and mentally. So please fold your hands and what I recommend is actually embracing your right index finger in your lap. So on the out breath, silently and mentally recite active out breath. On the in breath, silently and mentally recite passive in breath. Active out breath, passive in breath. Now let's play with more mindfulness training. On the out breath, let's silently and mentally ask the rhetorical question, what noticing? And on the in breath, let's silently and mentally recite the intention, relaxing. What noticing? Relaxing. Now let's get to the love practice. We're not going to pretend that we're Gandalf the Grey or Obi-Wan Kenobi and that we can simply wave a hand and change reality. But we can use our will, our volition, our intention. And compassion training and love training exercise our loving and compassionate will. Consider it, if you will, a workout. So we begin with the sweet love of self, to reference uh, the devil's advocate. Dream protection for me is what we silently and mentally recite on the in-breath. I'm sorry, is what we silently and mentally recite on the out-breath. Relaxing is what we silently and mentally recite on the in-breath. 
Now turn our attention to our neighbors, present or imagined. Dream safety for neighbors or dream protection for neighbors. Relaxing. And then finally, to all living beings on earth, whether they walk, crawl, swim, or fly, dream protection for earthlings, relaxing. We return to our mindfulness training. On the out breath, we ask the rhetorical question, what noticing? And on the in breath, we silently and mentally recite, relaxing. We conclude with the last set of exercises being on the out breath, dream protection for each being, and on the in breath, relaxing. The Friday series of weekly meditation classes, both in person and over your webcam, begins October 2nd. You can register, it, register for it by using the links below. And don't worry, through the generosity of our patrons, um, the Buddha Joy Meditation School is able to provide classes, webinars, and videos for free. All you got to do is show up five minutes early and do your darn homework. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Bye-bye now.